Welcome to Curie Electronics. In this video, we are going to see how to design a comparator with hysteresis so that we can take care of the noise. These are the waveforms after making the practical circuit I have captured. So before going through this, Let's see the circuit and related equations. So it was a 5 volt and the ground LM324 IC. I used one of the comparator of this IC. Inverting and non-inverting and inverting. So to the non-inverting terminal, two resistors are connected. R2, R1. Here we will provide the reference voltage. So here I have provided 2.5 volt as the reference voltage. Then what about the input? In the inverting terminal I am giving the input. Now as all of you know for a comparator with hysteresis has got upper trigger point and the lower trigger point voltages. So how do we calculate those voltages? So to find the VH upper, uh, let me write it as V UTP upper threshold point. There's the equation that is A. Why will tell you what it is? R2 upon R1 multiplied by V ref reference voltage. So our reference voltage was 2.5 volt plus A multiplied by V out high V O H so V out high this is to find the upper threshold point so what is A here A equals 1 upon 1 plus R2 upon R1 R2 upon R1 R2 upon R1 Now for our circuit for my circuit what I have what are the values I have used I used to 4.7 kilo ohm as R2 and R1. So 1 upon 1 plus 4.7 K upon 4.7 K. So what you get? You will get A equal to 0.5. Now let's put the values here. So what is UTP? V UTP for the circuit I have made. V UTP equal to A 0.5 multiplied by R2 upon R1 that is 4.7K upon 4.7K that is 1. A v ref what is the reference? 2.5 volt plus what is A 0.5 output high. This output it doesn't go to 5 we are using 
the 5 volt VCC but it doesn't go to switches to 0.5 volt it goes to up to 4.7 volt only it goes now let me take a calculator and simplify it that is 0.5 multiplied by 2.5 comes to 1.25 plus 0.5 multiplied by 4.7 2.35 so if we add these two what we get 3.6 volt we get right so for this circuit R2 was 4.7k and this is a good circuit for practical applications okay this 2.5 volt you'll be giving from a uh, preset or potentiometer so that you can vary it so your uh, UTP and LTP also varies this R1 also I have taken as 4.7 K 3.6 volt now what about LTP that is a lower threshold point I forgot to tell you something I have used a pull-up resistor also this is a 1k 1 kilo pull-up resistor so here we get the output so VLTP uh, VLTP is also the equation is same a multiplied by R2 upon R1 V ref. Only the difference is that here A multi instead of A multiplied by instead of VOH it is VOL. Here also the output doesn't go to zero. The output goes to 0.9 volt. So uh, let's let's put the values and calculate it. So VLTP equals to a what is a 0.5 r2 upon r1 we know 4.7 k upon 4.7 k 1 and v ref that is 2.5 volt plus what is a 0.5 and it goes to 0.8 volt or 0.9 volt let's take it 0.5 multiplied by 2.5 already we have seen it's a 1.25 yeah it's a 1.25 plus 0.5 multiplied by 0.9 that is 0.45 so which is equal to it comes to 1.7 volt so LTP is equal to 1.7 volt now what is the hysteresis if you take the difference between UTP and LTP voltages, you will get the uh, hysteresis. <coughs> hysteresis, we can say it's a hysteresis. I said some kind of noise. It's a it can uh, noise margin. It can take care of the noise. So, 3.6 minus 1.7. How much it comes? it comes to 1.9 <coughs> so here 1.9 volt is the noise margin now let's see the waveforms so if you see here uh, this yellow one is the input wave to the input to the non-inverting terminal and this green is the output now if you see here this is a measurement cursor for the channel 1 that is the yellow color input when input is here this point that is from input is growing from 0 0 0 it is going high at 3.2 volt see here the value is there 3.3 volt 3.3 volt what is happening uh, this output is switching to low 
output is switching to low uh, but after 3.3 volt total volts what is happening in the input waveform is increasing and it is coming back it is decreasing but at this point only it is changing so here it is not changing okay so at 3.3 volt the output is switching to low let's go let's see so here uh, here what I have to show you that is what is the output it is switch high when the output goes to high what is the maximum voltage so it is around 4.6 volt so for the calculation I have taken it as 4.7 volt what is low when the when the output is low it is see from here this is the cursor point that is a ground level from there it is up to here so what is the measurement it's a 0.8 volt 0.8 volt I have taken it as 0.9 volt for the calculation so the value what we get there will be a slight uh, difference it is due to the uh, the tolerances of the device and the voltage source so here again here yeah and uh, this is the at what voltage at 3 point here it is at 3.3 .3 volt it is switching to low I hope you understood now when it switches to high back see at this point when the voltage decreases decreases and one is reaches what is this value it's here that is 1.99 at 1.9 volt the output is switching to high uh, from 1.9 again the voltage is decreasing no change again voltage start increasing when it reaches here 3.2 volt or 3.3 .3, it is switching to low so we are having a, a wide range to take care of the noise actually in the practical circuit it is not going to be like this what it is going to be we will add just 100 or 200 millivolt for the noise suppression to, to take care of the noise usually what is hysteresis voltage we add 100 or 200 volt so this is a so tested circuit uh, from that only I have captured this waveforms now before completing it how do you represent output and input of this hysteresis comparator so here what is happening uh, now I will initially assume that in the output is high two points let us take it this is a 1.9 volt point and this is the 3.6 volt 6 volt these are the UTP and LTP so initially it was high so when it reaches 1.9 volt what what happens it continues to be high high means this is what voltage 4.7 volt and here let us take it as 1.9 volt at this point and then what happens it continues up to 3.6 volt it continues like that at 3.6 volt what happens the output drops to low right the output is now here the output is dropping to low at 3.6 volt then again in the output we are increasing the input voltage to up to 5 volt we can go but if we go to 5 volt what is happening it remains at 5 volt itself and now when we start decreasing the input voltage what happens we will decrease from 5 volt again we, again we have reached 3.6 volt now what happens nothing happens because this is a hysteresis region output stays there itself irrespective of the input at 0.9 volt what happens it switches the output switches to where high the output switches to high and again if we keep on decreasing the voltage what happens the output stays at high itself so this is the way we represent the output of a comparator with hysteresis I hope now you are clear about it and you can design and use this circuit for your practical applications.
So if you like the video, please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.